So I finally got back on my two ways playmaker. Basically, the two way slash and playmaker from NBA 2K20. We all remember how overpowered that build was. And I didn't think that this would even be close to that. But this build might feel even better than that build was. And that was the best guard build in the game, all around at least. Now look, I'm gonna show you guys my attributes, the badges I have, everything you wanna know about this build, even my dribble moves before I get into the actual gameplay. But before I do that, can you guys do me a favor and just drop a like on the video if you're still watching, or hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Both help me out a ton. We're on this road to 200K. But all right, let me show you the attributes, the badges, the dribble moves, everything you want to know about this build. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description to the build video on this, but basically it's a two-way slash and playmaker. When I'm a 99 overall, which once I get, once I decide to grind this build and I'm a 99, he will be absolutely unbelievable. And the reason for that is very simple. I'm going to have an 84 driving dunk, which actually matters because that means I'm going to be getting all the best contact dunk animations. So I'm going to be getting contact dunks on this build. I'll have a 99 speed, 99 acceleration. I think in 90, I, I think it's a 99 vertical. I'm going to have a 68 three pointer with a bunch of shooting badges. You guys will see a 89 ball handling, which is more than enough and a 98 steal with damn near max wingspan. So yes, this build is good now, but this is one of those builds that once you hit 99 on it, it absolutely changes things. Like my playmaking shot creator, going from 91 to 99 wasn't that big of a deal. This build, going from a 91 to a 99, is unbelievable the difference it makes so i recommend if you make this build to max it out and that's why i really need to max this build out. i got these contact dunks a higher three pointer which does matter and 99 speed and for the badges this is what i have right now i only had two finishing badges in all these gameplays and i had silver limitless i just upped it to gold right before this for my shooting badges i have gold hot zone hunter and silver sniper and this is why Okay, so this is how you check this for anybody wondering. You want to go down to play next game, my minutes, click down your right analog stick, and then click L2 uh, twice, and it'll bring you to your hot zones. You see my hot zones. I have them. I'm a lefty, and I like to ISO on the right wing. I like my um, spot up to be in the left corner, so the, the two places I shoot from the most is the right wing and the top of the key. I'm going to need to get more hotspots. I'm going to want one in the right corner, probably the left hash, and then probably the two mid, all three middies, okay? I'm going to need to get more hot zones, but that's why I have gold hot zone hunter on this build right now. Because with a low three-pointer in the 60s, gold hot zone hunter shooting in your hotspots makes a massive difference. For my playmaking badges, this is what I'm going to be using. I didn't have bailout on. I actually had unpluckable on Hall of Fame in these gameplays. But I was stupid. You need to have at least bailout on bronze. This is what I'm going to run from here on out. And on defense, I'm about halfway there. And this is what I'm running on my badges for defense. And this is my jump shot. I actually changed it. I definitely will update you guys on that. All my dunks, which you guys are going to want to know after watching the gameplay. And then my dribble moves. Remember, I made this player six foot four, so I could get the Derrick Rose size up. Okay, very, very important. And yeah, that's enough talking about my player. Let me just show you guys some gameplay. All right, so there's a few things that I want to note and touch on about this build. Number one, yes, you guys just heard me say it. It's going to turn into just a different type of build, a different animal when it hits 99 overall. It's just going to be better. But I changed my jump shot. The jump shot that I use on my playmaking shot creator, the jump shot that I'm going to use on my offensive threat is not the jump shot that I'm going to use on this build. And I did that same thing back in 2K20. I didn't use the same jump shot as I did on uh, my offensive threat and my playmaking shot creator as I did on my two-way. And this jump shot that I'm using right here is cash. And I can only imagine how much better it's going to be, like how much more consistent my jump shot's going to get once I get a higher three-pointer. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link to this build in the description. You guys see, even with a, what is it? What do I have? A 64? Yeah, 64 three pointer right now. I still green like crazy. I think this game is easier to shoot in 2K20. I can't compare it to 2K21 because unless you were a playmaking shot creator, you weren't shooting consistently. So the best thing I can do 
is compare this build to the two-way slash and playmaker in 2k20 i hope that most of you guys played that game and either played with one i know for a fact you played against one so you can understand the comparisons if you don't have this build yet if you have it yeah then you'll understand what i'm talking about but this build defensively I want to say is just as good as a two-way slash and playmaker was in 2k20 but I can't and that's just because defense this year isn't as good as it was now yes it's a great defensively but that that build was a different monster on defense this build right here is one of the best defensive builds you can have without question so if, if you want to go on a big streak I think this is the best build to, to go with because if you, you should be scoring at will and you should be getting a lot of stops if you need to. Like you guys are gonna see, even without all my badges, look at the dunks my my player gets. I thought I was getting crazy dunks on my playmaking shot creator, and then I got on this player. And like I said, I only had silver limitless takeoff in this in these gameplays right here. This is all with silver limitless takeoff. So once I do get contact dunks, once I do get that gold limitless take takeoff, my driving dunk gets higher. Once I get more confident in my three pointer, I get more hot spots. How are you gonna guard this build? I think it's a trade-off. Now, I do think the two-way slash and playmaker in 2K20 was not impossible, but really hard to guard. But I think with how offense is this year, with this build having 99 speed, you know, my D-Row size of Trey Young, what I'm comfortable with. If I get my shot super confident, like I did in 2K20, I think that this build is gonna be slightly worse defensively, like I just said, but way better offensively, like, I do not think people are going to be able to guard this build. Like, look at even when I get a stop, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, or not when I get a stop, even when I miss, I get a stop right back. He sags off of me, I cook him, and I get a green. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm super, super confident in my jump shot right now, but it'll get there. And once this build gets 99, it'll be crazy. And you guys saw this build, uh, the badges, I finished all the playmaking badges, that was easy. But the other badges, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to get in park. I'm going to have to grind park to get those badges, try and get this build to a 99. But my offensive threat is the build I want to grind. That build at 99 overall looks insane. It looks basically like this build and my playmaking shot creator combined on offense, where shooting... I'll shoot like my playmaking shot creator. I will be the most confident shooter in the world that I feel like I'll never miss if I'm open. And then if I ever get the tiniest bit of space, I get the fastest dunk animations. That's why I wanted to show you guys my dunks before I showed you all these gameplays. Because I know I would probably get a lot of comments from you guys saying, Quill, what dunks do you have on? Or what, what's your jump shot? Or what dribble was you using on this player? So I might as well just put it before the video, let you guys all know. I'll probably do that for all my videos, whether what player I'm on, I'm just going to show you guys all my dribble moves, the jump shot I'm using, everything. I know I didn't show you guys the exact jump shot blending, but if you're a real OG and you've been watching me for years, you know what that jump shot is. And if you don't, then I guess you'll see because I'll probably upload a jump shot video showing that I think this is the best jump shot for lower three-pointers, for builds like this, two-way playmakers. And honestly, I think it's the best jump shot for spot-ups too. It's just a really clean spot-up jump shot build. But you see right there. I just get that one-handed dunk every time, and it's so clean every time. It's just a fast dunk that's really unblockable because of how big my wingspan is. You know, most of the time, you're probably gonna be going against playmaking shot creators. Surprisingly, during these gameplays that I'm showing you, I was going against a lot of different builds. I was surprised. It felt kind of like 2K20 with the build variety, but most people still make short guards. And even though I'm six foot four, even Bandit said it. He said that I look taller, and I maybe it's because of my wingspan, but I do not look six foot four, and my player doesn't even have his max speed yet. I felt like I was moving fast. So when I get that 99 speed on my player, I get even higher driving dunk, and I can actually get contact dunks, this build's gonna be crazy. By the way, you see here, if you didn't see in the build video, I have lock takeover. I don't know if I regret it. Maybe going slashing takeover would be the move now that I've realized I get contact dunks, but I can't complain about uh, lock takeover. It was doing its job. You see the score here, 19 to eight. I think I have one more gameplay to show you guys just to, you know, if you guys still watch and really convince you that this is, I'm not gonna say it's the best build, but it's it's a top three build. This, the playmaking shot creator, and the uh, slashing playmaker, aka offensive threat. 
those are the three best guard builds in the game and it just it determines how you play your play style and how you want to play for example if you're somebody that uses screens or literally only wants to shoot threes i would say the playmaking shot creator is for you but if you if you just really care about offense and you want to just cook everybody you want to iso you want to get some crazy ass dunks you want to shoot three super super consistently you go with the offensive thread build obviously but if you want the best all around build just like 2k20 this is basically the same thing if you want the best all around build where you can shoot super consistently but you have a low three pointer so it's going to take a little bit of skill to shoot but if you can get it down consistent you really won't miss you're gonna get some crazy dunks you're gonna be fast 99 speed and then if you do give the ball up you have basically the best defensive build in the game you want the best all-around build it's this one right here this is the best all-around guard build in the game and it's crazy because i remember after 2k20 after everybody complained about how good the defensive builds were offensively i didn't think we would see a build like this again but you know what it is? They they lowered the driving dunk that you needed for contact dunks. That's what it is. Because a build like this, in 2K20, they had, an, if you guys remember, a 92 driving dunk. This build right here gets an 84. So the driving dunk is lowered by 8, but it doesn't matter. The three-pointer is also lowered. I think in 2K20, I had a 72 three-pointer at 99. Well, it would have been a 71 with the plus 4. So this three-pointer is actually three points lower. So the build still did get nerfed, but it doesn't matter because of how the offensive ratings matter in this game. You don't need a super high three-pointer to shoot. For driving dunks, they lowered it. So it's like, even though they nerfed the numbers, they made the requirements lower. So it's not really like a nerf, if you get what I'm saying. But that's coming to the end of the gameplay and basically the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you stuck around this long, please do me a favor and leave a like. You guys know that helps me out, but I will be uploading videos all throughout December. I'm planning on uploading a lot super consistently on this build, my playmaking shot creator, and then my offensive threat. I just need to grind it out, like I said multiple times, but you see I have Lock take over 20 points. Let me end this game, get this dude out of here. He couldn't guard me, and this dude was actually the offensive threat build, so he got the ball once or twice, but... You see, he, he just couldn't guard me. I was shooting super consistent. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do me a favor. Leave a like, sub if you're new, and dumb out.